Hey, this is Mavish Nasser from Few Tutorials on Face Recognition Tutorials. Okay, and welcome to the implementation of Training Set Editor. And our first job is going to be to connect to our Faces database. And that we're going to do by first including the directives, uh, new directives, to actually use the input output services and the OLEDB directive. Because we're going to be using the OLEDB method for connection to NMX access database file. And now we'll head over to a global variable and declare some for connection to the database. Now we're using OLEDB for connection, so the variables will be for OLEDB you know, classes. Now I've given an extensive tutorial on how to use OLEDB to connect to MSX database files and stuff, so I'm not going to go into the details so much. Um, the commands are self-explanatory as you can see. And especially for those who've worked with OLEDB before or who've seen my, you know, tutorials. And if you haven't, I'll, uh, you know, leave a link below in the description so you can just go and uh, watch those for any details you might be missing out on. For example, why am I using these uh, particular, you know, um, variables for what purpose? So that's all explained in those videos. Alright, so we've declared our variables and now it's time to use them. So we go down to the bottom, you know, in the free space and we declare our functions that are going to actually connect to our faces database and that we're going to use to refresh our connection to. And those two functions are as follows. Now their purpose is, um, you know, logically simple. Connect to database is simply going to um, connect to our faces database, which is going to be an MSX database file, which we are here calling faces database.mdb, connecting to uh, through Microsoft jet.oledb. Then we're going to just open it, and then we're going to create a data. A uh, then we're going to use the data adapter we created, and we're going to select everything from our training set one. That is going. That is our faces database table in the MSX database file. And then again, we're going to you know set the command builder. And why am I doing this? Or you know how it works. Again, I'm going to repeat that I've already covered it in the earlier tutorial, so you might want to watch that. And you might be wondering, you know, if I want you to look at some other tutorial, why am I bo even bothering to show you this one? Well, I'm just cutting myself some slack because I've already overworked on the same, exact same thing with, you know, different names of the tables and everything in another tutorial. So please bear with me and just, you know, read along and see what happens because I've, you know, tried to make it as self-explanatory as possible, the comments. Okay, now we're moving on to refresh DB connection. This is simple, you know, it simply first checks if the database connection is already open or not, and if it is, it is just going to close it, and then it's going to call the open connection, and that's simply it. Right, so we've made our two functions and it's time to use them. And we're going to actually use them. We're going to call these function when we're connect when we're actually loading our form. And for that we're going to do go into the load event of our training set editor by clicking on some white space in the design view or just you know scrolling up in your code and just make a call to your connect to faces database connect uh, function that we just made. And now when we debug it and we find no error, that means that we've actually successfully connected to our database, as you can see. And so now it's time to play with the database we just connected to. 